This week, our family is exploring Mississauga, Ontario's third largest city located along Lake Ontario next to Toronto. Now, we grew up around this area, and in this video, we're showcasing the diverse multicultural cuisine as well as family friendly activities this city has to offer. So, get ready to take some notes because you'll want to add these places to your wish list when visiting Mississauga. But first, coffee. Backroad Coffee Roasting is not your traditional coffee place. The name is inspired by taking the back road, which means taking the longer way and not cutting corners, and they apply that philosophy to their coffee roasting and brewing. Now you can get all the traditional coffee that you know and love, but if you're feeling a little adventurous, they have a separate menu with their own creations. They also sell coffee extractions, which is basically concentrated coffee that you can use at home to make your own drinks. They also showed me coffee beans that were sitting in barrels that used to have bourbon inside. Oh wow, it really does smell like bourbon. They're being innovative, they're being sustainable, and they have a spirit of adventure. I got a traditional latte because it's the morning, I just want something warm, simple. Sia though, he went, he went for something new and he got the coconut cold brew. It's coconut uh, cream with a coffee extraction, a dark coffee extraction and water. Hmm. That's my kind of coffee drink, cold and refreshing. If you're hungry, they have a few pre-made food items available. That's great for us because we need some fuel because after this, we're headed kayaking on Lake Ontario. We're spending the morning in Port Credit and we are at Osha Osha, which is a kayak and stand-up paddleboard rental place and we're going to be kayaking today. Ani, aloha, I'm Jennifer of Osha Osha, stand-up paddleboarding, kayak and yoga. Welcome to the water. I've lived here my whole life and I have never gone kayaking in Lake Ontario. Are you excited to kayak? Yeah. Down like that. What are you doing? This was a special experience. We've never been kayaking on Lake Ontario, and this was the first time kayaking where she was old enough to paddle by herself. We saw lots of birds and different types of fish, and it was really nice to be kayaking next to the city skyline. We burned a lot of energy, so now we're headed to Port Credit to get some food. We're at a vegan restaurant called Nourish Moi, and we have ordered a Caesar salad. It's got like sweet potato and avocado and all these seeds, and then a tortilla black bean soup and nachos that just, I can't, I'm getting, I can't wait. I'm gonna, right now, I know. I'm a sucker for nachos, especially when they're loaded like this. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Dig in. It's so good. It's really good. They just need to put her, their baby to bed. What is it? Avocado. What? What is this? Cashews. It's so good. I love when food is healthy and it feels good, but it tastes good. The combination, like that's what you want, right? I just wish someone would cook for me like this every day. <laughs> so I don't have to make it myself. It takes a lot of work. Mm. It is, is it, is it mm. actually really good? This is so good. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a fun, athletic, and exciting family-friendly activity, then the hub is where you need to go. This is a rock climbing gym where one half is for advanced and experienced climbers and the other half is for children that want to learn and have fun. We are at the Hub Rock Climbing and this is Kai's first time rock climbing. She's pumped. She climbs everything all the time anyway. I feel like she's just going to hit the, the ceiling like, like that. Faster than me for sure. Are you going to be like a monkey and climb all the way to the top? Yeah. Kai, you look so much older right now. Oh. Yeah. Focus. 
Not the green ones. Don't touch the Only green the ones. Only the black right ones. Only the black ones. That's why it's a challenge. Only the black ones. Push with your feet. Push with your feet. So hard. You're doing great. You got up there really fast. All the way to Super the fast. You got, it, you got it, Kai. You got it, Kai. Touch the black. Touch the black. Touch it. Yay! Woohoo! Nice. Come down now. Yep. Okay. Let go. You put can just let go. Woo! Put your feet on the wall like you're walking on the wall. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing's gonna Good happen. Job. Nothing's gonna happen. I did it. Yeah, you did. You did it. High Ooh. five. Kai, high look, five. Look how high it is. From here. From here. Look how high it is. It's as tall as a house. Big five. High five. Yeah, girl. On to the next. <laughs> now she's excited. <laughs> This is a perfect family-friendly activity that's both fun and athletic. So it gets the body moving, gets the heart pumping, and kids feel very accomplished because they love climbing. Kids want to climb everything, but this like really pushes their limits. They leave with more skills and more confidence. Watch out! And then kick! Yeah! There you go! Whoa! Yeah, you got it, you got it. Yay! Whoa. Whoa. Keep that head up. Whoa. Keep that head up. There you go. Keep your head up the whole time. There you go. All right, whenever you're ready. This guy's good. Dad, ready? Make sure you cross your arms. Woo! Is that fun? Yeah, that was more exhilarating than I thought it was going to be. Good job, Kai. Hold Sorry. on. Hold on. You're good. Good job. Hold on, Kai. Good job. Kai. Good job. It's okay. You're good. You're good. I don't want to do it. You're going to do it. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Such a fun family activity that's physical and like you don't even know you're working out because you're just having so much fun. Kai got a little, a little hand scrape, but she was super brave. And she did it, and we're really so, proud of her. So good. Like, so impressed, Kai. I am so impressed and proud of you. You're a brave, brave girl. Mom, in the video, if you saw something, my hand going on, it was the scratch. You got a little scratch? You can see it. A little burn. Right yeah. There. Little burns. Yeah. yeah. Right there. Yeah. Welcome to Planet Splatter, where we get paint and we get dirty. That's all I know, I've never done it before, but I'm really excited about it. I don't know what I was expecting going in the back door of this building, but it wasn't this. We are ready to get dirty. Look how clean we are right now. So clean. This is, this is, what's mine? The, the yours is so much fun. <laughs> Here, you get to fill up bottles of paint, and you can literally paint anything. The walls, the floor, each other, or a canvas that they provide to you. <laughs> Needless to say, this was a lot of fun for the whole family. One, two, three, travel, travel buddies! buddies. Woo, Woo, that was a lot of fun. We got covered in paint. In places I didn't think I was gonna get covered. Everywhere, everywhere, in the eye, up the <laughs> nose. Yeah, in the ear. But the paint thankfully comes off with like warm water and soap, so. We're at an Egyptian restaurant, and one of my favorite things about Mississauga and the GTA is the diversity of the cultures. You can dine at so many different restaurants from so many different cultures. I don't even know if I've had authentic Egyptian food before. This is a new experience. The 
bread's still warm. Cheers. That is incredible. That is fresh, fresh mangoes. Wow. What I also love about the food here, the multicultural food, is it's authentic. People from that country come here, chosen here to be their new home, and they cook the food as they would back home. It's like you're in someone's kitchen, you know, having dinner with the family. That's how authentic it tastes. So good. <laughs> Lentil soup. Amazing. Seasoned meat on the inside looks like some sort of like a garlic sauce. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of spices. It's so well balanced with the, the bread too. Like it's a nice snack, but it could be a meal. Really, really delicious. Oh, a little spicy too. A lot going on. I've never had a meal like this. It actually blends together up really well. The carrot and the meat and the rice undertone. It actually pulls it together pretty nice. I can see this being a very like homey meal. We are currently in Square One, which is a mall that I came to growing up all the time. But it is the largest in Ontario with over 330 different stores. So we're gonna just do some shopping, hang out, and then go for some food because they got a great food court here. It's so easy to get carried away shopping in the biggest shopping mall in Ontario. So we took a look at some items, tried out some new tech, and then bought some reading books for our daughter. That felt like the responsible thing. There's lots of food options at Square One, including this new food central on the first floor. We had some drinks and snacks at Farzi, which is an Indian restaurant, but with a twist. They take traditional Indian recipes and ingredients and modernize them. Just a forewarning that this is a high-end restaurant and some items can be pricey. But the presentation of these drinks was spectacular. We're at Celebration Square and this weekend is Mosaic Festival, which is a South Asian festival. But Mississauga and Celebration Square specifically is a hub for multicultural celebrations all summer long. There's so much diversity here and today there is music, there is dancing, there's a magic show that's going to happen, there's all these vendors selling different types of food and drinks, there's a craft area for kids so it's good for the whole family it's a free event and these types of events are happening all summer long for our final dinner in mississauga we're going to a japanese restaurant called kamen we love japanese food we've been to japan this place did not disappoint. Kristen got the ramen, you have to add the seasoned egg. I decided to go with something different and I ordered the gyodon, which is sliced beef sirloin with the egg on rice with mushrooms, onion, red ginger, and scallions. I feel like we've basically traveled the world just within Mississauga. And when you visit, you can too. If you're looking for more tips on what to do in this city, you can head on over to the Mississauga website or you can check out our reels that we've created, including some things that we didn't mention in this video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.